Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here, and if you've been following along, you know I've been in Seoul looking for the best of the best, and my time here is almost up. I've had an amazing trip, but what I want this video to be is giving you guys some tips uh, that I learned being here that I think could be really, really helpful for when you plan your trip to Seoul. First up, cash. I did find that almost everywhere to a credit card, it was really, really easy, really, really amazing. I did bring some cash for me. One, if you're traveling anywhere, get some cash. Um, two, but a lot of the markets that we went to were only cash, so have some on you. Honestly, the American dollar is really strong. I think I brought about $150 in cash, and I still have plenty left over, and I ate so much with it. So have a little bit on you, just in case, but almost ever it takes credit cards. Oh, except for the subway. The subway does not take credit cards, so make sure you have cash for that. That's tip number two, um, just in terms of getting around. I found the subway pretty easy. I mean, everything's in English. The announcements are in English, the signs are in English. It's still a little confusing. It's a new subway system, but definitely easy to get around. Uh, I'm a big walker, I tried walking too. Honestly, a lot of the city is pretty hilly. Like after day one, my calves hurt me, but I had a good mix of walking, subway, and then Ubers. And that gets to tip number three, and that's actually being able to navigate and find things. And this is where it's been a little difficult. So Google Maps doesn't show you um, how to actually walk anywhere. So if you look up how to get a place, it just will give you like driving directions, but then like not how to walk or get or use any other way. You don't always want to drive. Um, so there's an app called Naver app, N-A-V-E-R. Definitely down that, download that and use that when you're here. It'll give you more direct directions on how to get places. And we'll find too that when I would Google place to see where it is, or maybe look on maps where it is, or even type in a neighbor where it is, and then try and get there, maybe using Uber or, um, Uber or something, the addresses didn't always pop up, but maybe I would search something in English and then a Korean language spot would come up. So definitely triple check. I was constantly going back and forth from app to app to app, to like, is this the right place? Then we look at this map and look at this map and make sure it's the right, it's the right thing. Like there were a few times where I thought we were going the right direction and we weren't. So definitely, definitely triple check that. Also, what I'd recommend is getting one of these Wi-Fi routers when you land. Um, you know, I'm on Verizon and my international data plan is like $10 a day, which is already expensive. It goes out really, really quickly. And then you're left with basically internet that's unusable. Um, I forget the exact price and I was just trying to look it up and I don't know. I'll put a little lower third here uh, of what the price was, but they're cheap, unlimited data. Uh, highly, highly, highly recommend. There is Wi-Fi a lot all over also, but just having this in my pocket just made me feel better. So I could always be connected with the high, with high speed internet. Another tip is in terms of communicating, I will say that like so many people spoke English, so many people spoke English perfectly well. I think you see a difference in terms of maybe age, maybe if you're a little older to speak a little less English. Um, but honestly, like I really didn't feel like I needed to know Korean and I really don't um, to get around, to do things, to see things, to order things, to eat things it was all relatively easy. So obviously you wanna maybe have a couple words just to be respectful, but in terms of actually communicating, there were only a few instances where it was a little difficult. And you know, in that case, you just pull out your phone and you can use Google Translate and you'll be perfectly fine. And that's really it. Uh, if you guys are looking for more places to eat when you're here, I have all those previous videos already posted. So go watch those and sub because they're going to food adventures all over the world. Um, but yeah, if you have any other questions, put them in the comments below and I'll I'll try and uh, answer them, but I really hope you guys get to come to Seoul because it is an incredible city.